Hello. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take Town on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Luntz. As you know, I often like to discuss healthcare issues in the community of Nashville as well with the African American community. Today I have a special guest who is going to talk to us about Alzheimer's and dementia. I am with Dr. Janine Skinner of the Vanderbilt Memory and Alzheimer's Center. Hello. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Now, did I say it right? You did. Okay. You did. Okay. Yeah. And it's doctor. It is. Okay, great, yeah. great. Yeah. Well, the first thing I want to get at is I know a lot of people deal with uh, family members sure. who um, have Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. First, what is the difference between Alzheimer's and, and uh, dementia? That's a great question. Um, so, dementia is a broad term we use in. in the healthcare profession, and that's dealing with someone having a decline in memory and other thinking abilities that is affecting their daily life. So dementia can have multiple causes. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. So Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia. Oh, yeah. great. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's kind of like how a square is a rectangle? Uh, basically, no. <laughs> a little bit similar. You can think of dementia as like fruit, like a big category, and Alzheimer's type dementia would be an apple. Got you. Okay, an apple within. The yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that was a way better analogy. Than <laughs> Sorry about that. Now your center at Vanderbilt. Yeah. How long have you been around, and what um is the uh, goal or mission of the center? Sure. So I am a research instructor at the Vanderbilt Memory and Alzheimer's Center, and we are approaching our two-year anniversary. So it was started in January of 2012 by Dr. Angela Jefferson, and she's an associate professor of neurology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center and the founding director. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. And um, so it's through Vanderbilt mm -hmm. and your goal is to study how Alzheimer's is affecting Nashville or nationally or even globally? So yes, we're, so we're involved both at the local and the national level. Our mission is to conduct studies um, focusing on causes, risk factors, prevention and treatment of memory changes as people get older. Um, so we look at, um, we need people who are interested in participating in the study. So we take people with healthy memories and people who also have mild memory concerns. Oh, great. And then yeah. you, so you have to compare the healthy memory to people that have concerns? We need, we, yeah, we take, a, we take a lot of different type of people. So, so it would be helpful if we had people who had healthy memories as well as people with memory concerns. Okay. Yeah. Now you're actively looking for? We people. are. So we have a research registry and that's usually the first step for people who are interested in learning more about our research opportunities. Um, we would give them a call or they could call us and we would do, ask them a few questions over the phone and they would essentially be put on a list um, and they would be the first to receive information about new studies that we're starting at our center. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Now when, um, she started the center. Was it a hard process for her? Was there a need for it? There is. There isn't an Alzheimer's center here in Nashville proper. Um, so this is the only one. There's a lot of people doing Alzheimer's and dementia related work. Um, but she wanted to come to Nashville. She was at Boston University before. So it's really a great asset to the community to have a, an Alzheimer's research center here. Right here. Yeah, oh, that's great. Now, within the African American community, yeah. Is there um, a difference in the rate of African Americans who who deal with this as opposed to other people in the American population? So there, there is. Um, African Americans and also Hispanics have a higher prevalence of Alzheimer's disease. Um, according to the um, Alzheimer's Association, African Americans um, are um, twice as um, uh, the risk is double with regard to Alzheimer's disease and the risk is um, um, Hispanics are one and a half more times likely to have Alzheimer's disease than, than Caucasians. Wow. Yeah. Now is there any research that can explain or give us an idea of why people of color have it? So we, we, we think that um, there's some evidence that there may be different genetic contributions but a lot of the evidence to date supports um, that risk factors may be driving um, the higher rates in these particular communities. So we know that everything from diabetes um, to heart disease is associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease and communities of color have higher rates of high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and those are risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. So decisions that you make earlier in life can affect if you may have Alzheimer's? Yes, it can. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that, well, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was all a genetic thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so 
it's part is genetic, but part is really the. We think the biggest part is, is lifestyle. Lifestyle is the biggest right, part. Lifestyle and. Oh wow, wow, that's that's yeah. that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. So, has your center have they come up with any kind of tips or ideas of this is how you should live now? So when you're elderly, you'll be healthier? So um, just a general rule is what's good for your heart is good for your brain. So our center is very much interested in the association between heart health and brain health. And so we have a, a study that we're actively recruiting for called the Memory and Aging Project, looking at the relationship between heart health and brain health. So what you do for your heart essentially also uh, benefits your brain. So maintaining your blood pressure, keeping your weight down, having a healthy diet, exercising regularly, is good for your for your brain as well. Oh. Yeah. So, so basically, if we do our best to live healthy, then it, it has a benefit on all our bodies. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's yeah. great. Now, do you have any um, upcoming events to let the community know that you're here? Absolutely. So on November, November 2nd, we will be having our second annual memory loss event. This will take place at the Marriott at Vanderbilt from 7.30 to noon. This is a free event to the community. Um, if you're interested um, and eligible, so adults who are at least 60 years old, who have a loved one, who has some memory um, concerns, or you're concerned about your memory and you just want more information, we do encourage you to come out. Um, we'll have several speakers, experts in the field of Alzheimer's disease, um, giving presentations on, on topics related to memory and aging. That's great. And what was the date again? November 2nd, from 7.30 to noon at the uh, Marriott at Vanderbilt. 7.30 noon, Marriott at Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Is there a website register or just come on? No, you can do a rest, uh, website register. So www.vanderbiltalzheimersdisease.com. Um, you can RSVP there. Oh, great. great. So before we wrap up, I just wanted to know um, if you can let our viewers know, how long have you been in Nashville and how long have you been with the center at Vanderbilt? So I'm fairly new to the center. I moved to Nashville from Seattle um, in early July. So I'm approaching three months here. And, um, oh, you are new. I'm very new, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three months? Yeah. Wow. So you came here specifically for the center? Yes. Um, and you enjoying being at Vanderbilt? I am enjoying Vanderbilt. I'm enjoying Nashville. It's so far so good. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, I know that um, we're definitely happy to have you. Thank you. The research you're doing sounds like it's very important for our city and especially for our African-American community. And I just really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for having Thank me. You. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. And uh, once again, you've been watching Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune.